MRI is a very powerful diagnostic tool as it's able to define tissues characteristics that in other imaging tests may apparently be normal or not well defined in nature. Common conditions where MRI scan imaging is preferable to other modalities are brain diseases like stroke, TIAs or Alzheimer's disease, joint diseases mainly elbows and knees, uh, lower back pain or spine and uh, soft tissue conditions, different cancers like prostate or colon cancer. Patients with cardiac devices are usually over the age of 65 and that overlaps with the aging where cancer, joint diseases and brain problems like stroke or TIAs are more prevalent as well. So it is expected that there is a twofold probability that patients that do have cardiac devices may require imaging scanning sometime in their lifetime. That is why it's very important that if somebody is to have a cardiac device implanted, is able as well to have an MRI done when the time comes. There are several risks associated with cardiac devices and MRI scanning. The most common adverse effects that uh, patients with non-conditional cardiac MRI devices can experience relates to early battery depletion, heating of the device can, altering of the circuitry of the device, malfunctioning of the device program features, and altering of the characteristics of the lead uh, performance. All of these issues are non-issues when you have a, an MRI conditional device. MR conditional cardiac devices bring peace of mind to patients and as a matter of fact, treating physicians. Any implanted physician of cardiac devices should have in this state and age MRI conditional device as a feature uh, that is at the forefront on a decision making process on what specific device a patient should get because this is to define many times other clinical conditions where the patient may benefit from early diagnosis and treatment. Everybody should get an MRI conditional device unless other circumstances are in place to prevent it from getting one.